There are several factors that have an influence on the Earth's climatic change. Uh, some of these happen to be like clouds, fine particles, etc. Low thick clouds primarily reflect solar radiation and cool the surface of the Earth. High thin clouds primarily transmit incoming solar radiation. At the same time, they trap some of the outgoing infrared radiation emitted by the Earth's surface and radiate back, it, back downward, thereby warming the surface of the Earth. Whether a given cloud will heat or cool the surface depends on several factors, including the cloud's height, size, and the makeup of the particles that form the cloud. And the fine particles that are there in the atmosphere also change. For the, uh, as we talked about, the, the fine particles are coming into the atmosphere from uh, volcanic eruptions, for example, or biomass burning, including natural forest fires, and uh, also dust from the storms, uh, sandstorms, etc. And we have uh, very fine sulfate aerosols, uh, from burning coal and oil that come into the atmosphere. And these fine particles sometimes um, contribute to cooling. Uh, this is well known, for example, when uh, Mount Pinatubo erupted in Philippines in 1991, there were a lot of fine particles that were spewed into the atmosphere which covered um, the surface uh, and um, it caused basically cooling. So again, um, at this point we do not know exactly how these factors will affect in future. Uh, forest fires release carbon dioxide into the into the atmosphere, uh, and as we all know, carbon dioxide traps heat. And um, volcanic eruptions; these particles can cool sometimes. Oceans, clouds, and prediction of these kinds of things uh, if for future is a difficult task, and uh, that is the reason uh, predicting what is likely to happen is not so certain at this point in time.